I just saw Tyler here. Uh, I'd like hey, to Tyler. say hi to Tyler. Um, he had uh, some troubles with a P4 Net Vista. Mm. Um, he has a IBM Net Vista Pentium 4 that keeps randomly cutting out on me, he says. I was running spin right on it to check the hard drive integrity, and again, it randomly died, so clearly it's not the hard drive. Oddly enough, it also randomly started back up again on its own. Um, mm. How do I check if it's the power supply or if it's haunted or something else? <laughs> um, if you think it's the power supply, where can I go to look up what I should get to replace it? Okay, uh, frozencpu.com has a really great uh, power supply tester. I actually know this stuff off the top of my head. Uh, I'm, Isn't I'm that wild? amazed. You amaze um, me. <laughs> oh, I blush. <laughs> uh, what you want to do? Me. What you want to do, though, Tyler, is uh, you want to know uh, what's causing this, and, it, and most commonly, this is uh, going to be either your CPU fan is completely clogged with dust and it's not cooling off, and so it's overheating, and then your computer oh. to save your hardware from dying. Your BIOS says, okay, it's too hot, reboot. Yeah. And uh, so what happens then is, is that, uh, the effect that you're describing. So, uh, so open up the chassis, look at the fan, make sure that, uh, that it's not completely saturated in dust. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, uh, your video card. If it's got a fan on your video card, make sure that your video card is not too close to the next card in line uh, because sometimes that will uh, affect airflow. You're not going to be able to get enough airflow to that video card. Mm -hmm. That will cause things like blue screen death in Windows. That will cause things like... Uh, random reboots and things like that because again your computer is trying to conserve your hardware and it thinks the best way to do that is to shut it off. Hmm. Then the next one that I would look at is your RAM modules. So you can use a program called Memtest 86 Plus. That's going to scan those RAM modules just to make sure that they're not defective. And you know, give, uh, ground yourself and, uh, and touch those modules while the power's on and, and see if, uh, if they're running pretty hot too. And uh, that's something to look at. But Lab fan says buy a can of air. <laughs> yeah, a can of air uh, to blow out that CPU fan. Right. But if it's really bad, you really need to have it professionally looked at because, like, we have some that come in that we actually need to completely disassemble the uh, cooling system in order to get that cleaned out. Where a can of air would actually push the dust right down into the to the heat sink. Uh, sometimes that wouldn't work for you, so you may need to have it professionally done if it's really bad. Uh, but a can of air, if it's if it's not too thick, you can probably get away with that as well. So, but those are pr those are the first things I would uh, look at, and if it's still happening after that, we know it's not your software, um, so it's definitely something that's going on with the hardware. I would say get it into a technician if those things don't uh, resolve it for you, or at least tell you uh, what you need to uh, take a look at. So. <laughs> John Roberts, uh, Kerry mentioned that uh, you just use your lungs, and uh, <laughs> John Roberts says, you know, he's done it a couple of times and forgot to close his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my eyes. Yeah, nice. Oh, you'd have tons dust. of dust bunnies right all over you. Yeah.